Hello everyone, my name is Maxim W and in this video I want to show you how to manipulate scoreboards using JavaScript. So Featherboard for um, allows you to use um, scripts inside the scoreboard configurations that basically allow you to manipulate um, well the scoreboard lines or the settings. So if you haven't already, there is a video where I explain how the settings, how I use the settings to change the placeholders in um, the whole configuration. So um, basically, you just configure it over here and it replaces it uh, several times uh, throughout the frames and lines. Um, but yeah, so this is basically you type something here and it will be replaced over here. Um, now, for example, I have um, this section over here that switches between a site, amount of time is played, and the health. If you want your users to easily disable or configure one of these things, um, you would have to do this perhaps in the settings because you want to make it easier. Um, and now the question is, how do you remove these things? Well, you don't really need to remove this per se. Um, there is a scoreboard meet attack called disabled that basically when it's in front of the line or actually the frame, it will just ignore it and switch between those two. So if I reload, if we reload the default, you will see that it will switch between the side and an amount of times played. But it will never show the health show the health so let's wait a second so it goes back to site um, now how would you do this in settings well you could do something like show health disabled and if I do this and if I replace this with the placeholder setting then this should work so if I do this and I reload so now it's again disabled uh, so it will switch between side and plate but if I just want to enable it again I have to remove this and reload again and now it will show the health um, and of course you can do something like this and it will most likely work but it isn't really user friendly to ask your users to specifically type disabled or something with the uh, vertical lines. So I just want the user to just type true or false. And yeah, that's it. But if I would do this, it will just show true or false be in front of that line. I can show you if I just do this. And reload again it will show tr true in front of it in front of the um, health and the label of the health like this so that's not what we want so in order to fix this I'm going to use a, a script so um, there are two types of script we have a pre-processing script and a post-processing script the pre-processing script um, is uh, executed before all the lines are loaded so the scoreboard loads uh, it runs the script but the lines aren't loaded yet um, and you can create new settings over here and uh, change settings or remove them or whatever and once the lines are loaded um, they will use the settings for the placeholders so well I suggest it, well actually if you want to create additional settings that are be used to as placeholders you have to use them in this pre-processing script the post-processing script is executed after the lines are loaded so um, you can then manipulate the existing frames or lines uh, you can remove specific frames or whatever um, basically it gives you control over the whole scoreboard while uh, the pre-processing script actually provides um, you the ability to create additional settings that will be replaced once the lines are loaded and that's what we want um, there are 
two arguments given to the script uh, a board variable which is the scoreboard group um, you can well since it's JavaScript you can interact with the Java code so you can actually you can do whatever you want you can uh, connect with uh, Java classes, uh, other plugins. Um, you can even create an updater inside of it. Um, the well, actually, the it's limitless of what you can do. Um, the thing we want to do. So there are two variables given: board and settings. Uh, board is the scoreboard instance, and uh, settings is a two-dimensional map with uh, the key being the setting key and uh, the value being the value of that setting. So I want to check if the settings for show health is equal to true. I may be wondering why I'm writing it like this instead of just like this. Um, the reason why is because um, settings are strings. Um, so in order to do this check, you need to check if the string is equal to true. Uh, it's a bit messy, but uh, it does the job. So when it's true, I want that setting to be empty. So I'm just going to do like this. Oh. And when it's false, so it's not true, I want it to be disabled. And if I reload again, you will see, uh, so the health will, shown, will be shown. Um, and if I want to disable it, I just have to type false and it will be removed. So let's wait a bit. Play it. it should go to side again. And yes, so that's a very easy method to use uh, booleans inside your settings uh, that are replaced to well, actual metadata or strings. Um, so that's a, a use for the script. Of course, there are many more possibilities. Um, you can, for example, uh, create dynamic blocks, like instead of like sh saying, like, I want to show this health, you can um, um, configure it uh, what you can you can loop through these settings to see if uh, there are specific new blocks or that you want to be added um, well the, the possibilities are endless uh, seeing you have access to the settings and uh, the scoreboard now another quick example of the post processing script um, so this as I said before this script is run after the lines are loaded um, you could manipulate um, the scoreboard lines. For example, I want to add a new additional frame to this. So in order to do that, I need to get board get line by name title. If you're wondering um, what these methods are, um, they are described in the API documentation of Featherboard. Um, so yeah, as you can interact with the Java API, so don't need to worry about the JavaScript limitations. So now I'm having the scoreboard line title and I want to add a new frame at frame um, hello world. And this should add a new frame hello world for two ticks. So if I reload, yeah, you quickly see it, but it's way too fast so I'm going to add a delay times uh, times 10 delay and this should make it a bit more visible okay yeah now it's visible so yeah that was um, some quick examples of the scripts. Um, I hope you learned something and well, see you soon.